Hey guys, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective and today I'll be doing a review on this little guy, the Victorinox Compact. Uh, what this blade and tool is to me is kind of the, mm, both a gentleman's carry, where if I'm just trying to go low profile and lightweight, that I get a lot of capability out of just having this knife and its tools without having to have a bunch of other stuff while having it also look very presentable and not scary. It's also fairly inexpensive. So if you lose it, it's not the end of the world. Um, and then also, if you're just looking for a lightweight, easily packable, you know, everyday tool, then this is also might be a good option for you. Let's kind of get into it. So, We'll just go through the tools. You already saw the blade. And one thing I will say, that's the best, one of the best things about this tool or knife is that it's so thin at the spine. It's so thin behind the edge. This is probably the best cutting pocket knife that I own right here. So if you're looking for a very slicey blade, then look no further. You've got it right here. Uh, it's made out of the x50 crmov 15 steel hard to say the exact rockwell they're putting these at but they seem to be hardened to only about maybe like 56 rockwell so they don't hold an edge that long but it's so thin that it'll slice even when it's dull um it's about eight to ten thousandths behind the edge at 17 to 20 degrees per side and yeah, it just slices. It's it's very polished, very stainless, so you don't have to worry about corrosion. So great blade. And then on the other side, it's a two-layer tool with the A-lock scales. So on that same layer, you've got the nail file that works very good oh, as a file. And then you've also got your kind of nail cleaner there. And that works good as a nail cleaner, but this is also a number one Phillips driver. It works pretty well for that, or just general scraping, getting into stuff. And I like the nail file for filing my nails, but also a lot of things that you buy, toys, products, especially plastic ones will have like burrs from the molding process. And this is great for knocking those down. So another tool here is your flathead pry bar, uh, words, wire stripper, bottle cap lifter tool, and you've got the full extension and also the 90. The back spring on this is pretty stiff, so it's very secure. It's still easy to get in and out though. And then on the other side, you've got your can opener, small flathead, and uh, Phillips driver on this one and uh, that's that's it so it's very minimalist it's very lightweight so let's look at the weight here if you guys can see that it's 1.6 ounces so extremely lightweight but you're still getting you know all of those tools in there i don't know how many 12 or so um and it's just very, very capable for what it is. It's smaller than the standard 91 millimeter Victorinox. I think it's 89 millimeters. And then you can see this is a normal two layer Victorinox here. And you can compare that to the Cadet. So it's a lot thinner, it's smaller, it's lighter. So it's super handy. Uh, so you have some size comparisons and uh, kind of uh, alternative options. So this is the cadet, and this is my preferred, just low profile, like I'm going to a wedding, throw it in my pocket kind of knife. This is the Victorinox Compact, which I have in my left front pocket every day. So it's my favorite tool, and uh, there's the size of that. Here's my other preferred wedding knife, and this is a GEC, uh, I don't know the number, but it's an Easy Pocket Congress uh, Tidiut with the Warncliffe blade there, and then the regular blade, small pen blade there, and there's that. And then here is another Alox Victorinox. This is the Pioneer. Sorry, I guess I can I'll swap out the Victorinox. 
So that's it there. So the Pioneer is also a two layer knife, but you can see it's just a lot beefier and it's full, full length there. And this represents kind of the same thing as this, but instead you're looking for a, a, a knife that can get some stuff done. So like the tools are just a lot thicker. The blade is a lot thicker. The springs are stiffer, it's heavier. And then you get an awl there instead, which I find really handy, but I still prefer the Cadet. And then what I really wanted to show here was this, is you can drop these down in the bottom of your pocket with these A-lock scales are very slippery and they will get dinged up. Uh, you can buy ones that aren't coated so you can't see it, but both of these are you know, black and red, but they'll just be like silver aluminum color. So they can slip out of your pocket if you're not wearing jeans, if you're like wearing slacks and those kind of angled pockets. So if you sit down like on an easy chair, they can slip out. I used to have a green one of these and I don't anymore for that reason. So a lot of the times, not the wedding scenario, but if I'm carrying it for some other reason, I like these little like pocket hangers and you just stick it right on there. And this is just a deep carry right in your pocket. It works really slick. It can kind of get in your way when you're using it, this thing flopping around. So that's a downside. Luckily on both of them, the knife is opposite it. So that's pretty important. But you know, this is kind of a love hate thing for me. But so I, I tend to prefer to slip it down into my pocket, but your mileage may vary. But yeah, I just really enjoy this tool because I can bring it to those classier events, but I still have so much capability with it and it looks nice. It's not very expensive. I think this is like $30, $35. And uh, you know, they're very replaceable. You can buy them anywhere. And uh, yeah, it's lightweight, thin, looks good, replaceable, super capable, lightweight. Just can't say enough good things. So I highly recommend you check out the Victorinox Cadet. And uh, until the next time, I guess, have a good one. Bye.